ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Short Lips TV. I'm Alamede Salau, better begin with better voices. Late last year, the House of Representatives, acting on the motion moved by one of its members representing Ogun State, Ibrahim Isiakam, set up a committee to look into the hike in food prices, items, commodities, and goods and services. Until now, nothing has been done and nothing has improved. If we continue like this, with food prices on the increase and salary is low, we'll be having poorer people by the end of 2022. We are on the street and we'll be asking Nigerians how they've been coping with this incessant hike in food prices. Join us as we do this. Okay, so how have you been coping with the hike in food prices? Recently, we've been actually experiencing hike in food prices, ranging from basic food products like tomatoes, onions, gari, and it's really not fair. Well, I can't blame the traders simply because um, they actually buy these things from the manufacturers at a very high price, and you don't expect them to sell it below the cost price. So for them, in order for them to get more profit they tend to add a profit to what to their own cost just and the end users like the customers they feel it because some some persons actually have a budget for what they want to buy but when they get to the market it's something else so i don't know how we're going to do it maybe the manufacturers they have to make it um less costlier so that customers will not feel it. Because imagine someone who doesn't have money to buy something. How would the person eat? How would the person feed? Imagine someone that has too many kids and too many hands to feed from. How would the person be able to at least gather himself or herself to buy these things from the market? And the traders themselves, they are still complaining. They are complaining and there's nothing they can do about it other than to go with the hike in prices. Unless something is done about it, I don't think we're going anywhere. Well, it's quite unfortunate that um, the price are high, has gone high and uh, with the rate of how things are going, coping, especially living in Lagos, it's quite challenging that you barely even eat two square meals in a day but then well um they say that the people have been and then they plan well anyways with the little income we get whatever you may have when you plan well you you'll be good it's crazy but we have been managing we are trying we will survive by god grace so we are not happy about it like seriously because i can still remember but uh, sometimes that we buy back of rice seven thousand naira but now back of rice will be like Original rice, you get the quality rice now, it's uh, 30,000 naira. So it's very, very expensive and it's very bad. And this is Nigeria. And it's not like we are brought this rice from outside country. So please, our government will try and help us because the way things is going, is very, very bad. We, don't, we are not happy about that. Like I can see some of our guys, they don't really to work. I mean, they don't really to, you know, to do something. They all really to make that money instantly. You understand? Faster money. So many things is happening. We are losing life here. Killing day and night. People are dying because there's no job. There's no working and the food price is increasing. So it's very, very bad. You cannot open that, like seriously. So mm -hmm. government to try and help us to do some things. It's been terrible. Okay. Should I say horrible? I don't know. Everything just suddenly start going very, very high. And it's not even coming down. Yeah, it's something that I've been trying to uh, cope uh, with. It's not been easy, but uh, you know, as um, the general mentality, um, of um, every Nigeria is. We try to find a way around every situation. Um, this is not the first time we are experiencing something like this. In fact, our parents, you know, they tell us stuff in their own time when they were, you know, um, uh, young as we were. They had their own hard times and, and um, they're able to, to um, you know, scale through. So, I mean, it's something that we are used to and we are, we are, we are coping and God is helping us. Yeah, I said that there's nothing we can do is Nigeria. We have to adapt to this situation. Okay. And that's it. It's not funny, just that when the road gets tougher, you just need to adjust and keep going. Okay. Well, some of us do have one square meal a day and we just keep on vibing. Wow. We pray for a better government, yeah, maybe next year. 
basically as a Nigerian, we have learned to adapt to everything we see. So it's just what I what personally I do is try to buy things in bulk. That's the only way I can be able to save right now because the way things go, you might go today, by tomorrow the, the price is something else. So whenever I like have, I like to just buy things in bulk, save up so I can be able to use for the before that one finishes. I should have saved up enough for the next one. That's basically how I cope with the prices. Basically depends on indication. Like there are some areas in the, at the mainland where food prices are at least a bit reduced. Okay. You understand? Okay. Right. Like the last time I went to, um, I went to Agege Pen Cinema and I, I was actually um, baffled by the lower price of pepper wow. in the market. So it has, it has really reduced. But you know, coming to the island here, yeah, things are very expensive. So what I do is that whenever I want to buy food like that, I buy it in bulk. Probably I go to um, Agege Market, buy my food in bulk, okay. then bring it here to the island. So that's what I do. Prices of goods in the market goes up, sometimes comes down. Okay. And, you know, and people are not earning much, yes. you know. So everybody just have to cut their, uh, like they say, you cut your coat according to available size okay. wow. of material you have. So everybody's just managing, managing, managing. We believe one day everything yeah. will be fine. We have been managing since, we thank God, as far as there is life, mm -hmm. we are coping and we are managing because this country, things are always going harder and harder. All the time, if they increase things, it will take time before the increase to come down. But as far as there is God, we are all managing and things are moving well. But the only thing we are praying for God now is that let the country get better. It's too much, it's too much. Okay. For Nigeria and in anything you want to buy in our rice, food, anything, and everything is too much. We are begging, begging to the government to do something about this. That's why I appeal to the government. They should do something about this. Yeah. The food prices in the market, when we buy something today, we go tomorrow, has changed. There is nothing we can do. Okay. We will buy because if you do not buy, you cannot eat. Yes, because we are not farming by ourselves. So we just we are just managing it by the grace of God. This is affecting everybody. It has not been easy. You go to market today. By the time you go there be the next day, the increase, price has increased. Uh, it's not easy. We are just uh, trying to manage. Mm, first of all, I would say it is quite challenging because one time you go to the market to buy food stuff, another time the price has increased. So it's just creating a strain on our income but then what, are, what, what can i say just to endure whenever you want to buy something in the market people are complaining of dollar rate whatsoever i don't know how could the price of a dollar what could have affect gary or affect local production or local food we normally eat here in nigeria but really really things are very bad they are no longer easy again yes what you bought let me say you buy it at the road at the rate of uh, five naira uh, yesterday today you are buying it different price so it's really, really affecting most especially people with a lower income rate in this country. So please, things are getting bad. I think the government should do something better. And there you have it. You've heard from the mouth of Nigerians how the hike in food prices is not only affecting their well-being, but it's also affecting their finances. We hope the right authorities are taking note and will start working on something very soon. Also, we hope the government will not follow through with its plans to totally remove fuel subsidy because that will further worsen the situation of things. Thank you for watching our video. To see more interesting content like this, please subscribe and follow us on our various socials at Facebook and Instagram at Short Lips TV. Also, we have an anonymous website www.shortlips.com where you can share your real life experiences and also connect with people who have been in similar situation. This is Short Lips TV and I am Alamide Salau, better picking with better voice. Till we come your way next time, do stay safe.